today we're gonna be looking at the best deck right now for arena 12 and clash royale we actually just graduated from high school so we're looking a little bit spiced up still decided to leave it on let me know what you guys think but other than that we're gonna waste absolutely no time here today and we're gonna get right into the deck today's deck that we're gonna be playing that is the best deck for arena 12 right now is valkyrie dark goblin wall breakers goblin barrel and the log rocket combo obviously for some awesome constant pressure you can put on if they have answers to your wall breakers and goblin barrel you can always just defend and then make sure you can rocket down their tower obviously it makes for a lot of close matches but if you play it right if you know how to play this deck you are going to win every single game does not have many bad matchups mega knights dark princes pekka decks you can out spam and out swarm all of them guys especially if you play it smart and save your elixir until you know when to push they can't always counter everything for example dark Goblin at the bridge easy quick damage here he's going to go ice spirit we are going to end up just letting that go luckily we do have the log here for his goblin rail easy counter there we have a big lead since he decided to ignore our dark goblin that's going to cost him a lot of uh damage guys as you can see we're going to go spirit guard for gonna go wall breakers maybe he doesn't have log and cycle maybe he does log but either way then we could just goblin barrel guys and that is gonna be easy tower damage for us he's gonna have to play something dark goblin's gonna move up and just get even more tower value and all he has is the goblin barrel of course to come at us with so he's gonna go ahead and knight we're gonna wait for his goblin barrel no we're gonna come valkyrie Valkyrie's going to take all this out pretty easily. The Spear Gobs are getting some chip off, but look at how much damage we've done to his tower, guys. We have just crushed his tower's HP um, and the Valkyrie. It's going to need to be dealt with even more Elixir here. If he decides to go Princess, we might go for the log here. We're going to log it, guys. We have our Spear Gobs ready in hand to try and take out his uh, Goblin Barrel. If he does go over it, let's go. He's going to go for it. We're going to go Spear Gobs right here. Spear Gobs should soak up a decent amount of the shots, guys. As you can see, it's only going to get, what, two swings off with all the goblins that's not bad at all um and he's gonna go with the goblins of his own we're gonna go tesla here tesla's gonna clean up pretty nice goblins are going down you'll love to see it and then all we have to do here is go for some wall breakers and a deep uh goblin barrel he's probably gonna miss the goblin barrel here we will oh no he just doesn't even wow the wall breakers nearly survive the goblins do end up still getting a stab off which is awesome you'll love to see it we're gonna go dark goblin and log it's really risky should we do it we're gonna do it we're gonna go dark goblin and then we're gonna log back here he's gonna go goblin gang no goblin gang does come out that's awesome because half the goblins die to our log we're gonna start spamming a little bit here he's gonna have to log this 100 percent or princess the princess is gonna be really late both of them would have connected look at how much elixir he's had to just spend there guys way more than he would have wanted let's go valkyrie though valkyrie's gonna soak up all of this the princess oh nice the valkyrie kills the princess even better guys he's going in with that we are gonna have to go dark goblin and log the log is gonna be a little bit late because he placed in the front well played to him on that one the spear goblins are down at this point in the match this is where you need to know to just defend and send your rocket um because when you're defending guys it's pretty easy with this deck a lot of good answers in this deck like i said you have the princess you have the goblin barrel you have the valkyrie you have all sorts of great answers for some defense we're gonna go ahead and rocket that hopefully we can cycle to our log really quickly right here we are gonna get to it nice he has rocket himself but he is not gonna be able to rocket us down completely guys that's just not possible um like unless he gets a bunch more rockets down which i'd be surprised it is possible but we'll see he's going with it in the front not going to catch us this time buddy we're going to go with a high tesla in case he tries to prince us but right now it's one rocket he needs at least two or three so it's looking really solid the high tesla obviously going to be op in this matchup we're going to go spear goblins in the back we have plenty for our rocket guys and it is really not looking good for our mans we're just going to go ahead and rocket that princess take her down all at once and that's going to be it guys we cycle to another log with six seconds left. He is going to have to just throw it down. It's all dead. Excellent match. We beat Classic Logbait with this deck. Pretty impressive stuff because Classic Logbait is a really good deck. We are tuning in for battle number two. Let's go ahead and try and get a two-win streak here. Let's see. We are going against Andork here for the final match of the day. And the key tip with this deck is that you obviously cannot play too aggressive. That is not what you want to see, though. We got the Goblin Barrel. So if you're seeing that, that's a bit sketchy, guys. We are going to go for a Valkyrie right here. We've got to make sure we can take out that dark prince obviously the rockets a lot of elixir to spend in one times the elixir so it's very key that we're definitely going to chill out and play slow now we need to figure out what deck he's got going for a goblin barrel right here would be definitely too much elixir it might work but the chances are it definitely could backfire um but he does go bar barrel here so if we get a lot of elixir we are going to go to this goblin barrel left lane it's going to be some guaranteed tower damage assuming he doesn't have um assuming he doesn't have anything else crazy right we're gonna go spear guys way down here spear guys should put in a decent amount of work um and he's gonna nato it nice that's what we actually wanted to see there because we could dark goblin this that's gonna be a lot of damage and he completely ignores our dark goblin or sorry our goblin barrel and as you can see that's almost half of his tower down huge plays being made there he doesn't even go with anything crazy here 
We're gonna go Valkyrie right here. Quick, Valkyrie's gonna be big. He does have Dark Prince now in cycle, so if he does bridge spam here, that's gonna be well played. We are gonna have to watch out for that, guys. We're gonna go Wall Breakers here. He does Dark Prince. That is Z overcommitment. This is bad. This is very bad. The Wall Breakers die. Everything's dead. It's all tragedy. Let's go Spear Gobs right here, maybe. Dark Prince come across. Nice. Look at the lineup here from both spear gobs that's gonna be huge guys countering the dark prince with just we like so actually manages to save us a little bit here now we are fine we're chilling we know he's got electro giant we're gonna rocket that because the furnace is annoying it's annoying guys if he goes e giant the bridge we really can deal with it he can't go with anything crazy um and i mean the rocket value it's awesome thanks for giving it to us and dork that was not the best play for him um, and for next up, we're just going to go ahead and toss it in the mid. We have Dark Goblin to also help tip down the Electro Giant if he does decide to go with Electro Giant here. So, we're feeling good. We're feeling good. Double Elixir is just around the corner. Tesla is about to go down. If he goes Electro Giant in the back, we can easily cycle to another little Dark Goblin here, guys. So, we're going to go for the Dark Goblin here. Get a lot of chip damage right there. I think he might have given up. Potentially. We'll find out. Um, is he going to defend it? No, he's not. That's GG's, guys. We're going to leave this one in. Dark Goblin, um, this is a great example of playing passive. It is the key to success with this deck. Playing and then countering once you know your opponent's Lonely Elixir. That's the way to do it. Very awesome match here. It's going to be a shorter video today, but we cannot have a super long one today. But had a busy day, but it was pretty awesome. So thank you guys so much for watching. This has been an excellent day today. Two nice, awesome wins for us. And if you guys want to copy the deck, the deck link will be down below. So definitely make sure to do that if you want to try this out in your in Arena 12. So thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe, everybody. More videos coming soon, obviously, that are going to be a lot longer. So if you enjoyed this one, definitely subscribe. Have a great day. Master Jidi-san.